It's a rainy Friday night. I got me and Rick the puppy are going for a walk. And you know, sometimes me and Rick, we're becoming good friends. This is our first official walk. Now, I used to have another dog who passed away. Uh, and I missed that dog because he was like my therapist. I don't know if Rick has enough life experience to handle the BS that's going on in my life. Hi, huh, Rick the puppy. All right, Rick, let's see. Well, Rick the puppy. Huh, look at this church. What happened to this church, Rick the puppy? When I used to walk the old dog, this church was open. Oh, no. The Baptist church. There was a while back, like, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 years ago. I was going for a real spiritual thing, Rick the puppy. And you, Rick the puppy, though. So, yo, Rick. Rick. I'm talking to you. It's raining. It's Friday. We're doing... Yes, I see you shook it off. So... Oh, Jesus. God. I think cat's not dog abuse. He walked in front of me. Uh, so... So I went for the spiritual thing, Rick the puppy. And I, uh... I went to, like, every church in the neighborhood. Except that one. And, uh, A lot of them closed. They're all... The, the Presbyterian church closed. Uh, the, the Catholic church I belong to for a little bit, they closed, right? This is, see, I'm in my neighborhood, so I don't want people to think I'm insane because I'm talking to myself. Because now it's nice. It's finally, it's walking season. Rick the puppy, we walked him, but, you know, when it's below 40, he gets a walk to, you know, a quarter of a mile. Not not the good two, three mile you get in the summertime. Look at him. So, yeah, all the, the Presbyterian church closed. That was weird. That was a good church. And then the food bank church, right? That's still open. And then but whatever that... I never went to that one, but... You're not even listening, Rick the Poppy. So, I got some bad news, Rick the Poppy. I didn't get the tour guide job. I know, I'm sad too. Uh, I was trying for about a month, a month, I was trying to be a tour guide for this tour company. And uh, so I did all this. Look, I'm not a history professor. You watch any of the videos at the history spots, it's a whole lot of me going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <clears throat> but what I went back to, what I went back and did is I watched my videos and all the questions I didn't know, I got the answers and I was like, all right. So I know a little bit. I'm not, you know, it ain't no history. A lot of the guys that do it are history professors. So, everybody I did a tour with said, uh-oh, oh, 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 come on, Rick the Bobby. Everyone I did a tour with said, uh, oh, you got the passion, you got the, oh, okay. uh, oh, no. Huh? Look at that. Good job. You didn't bark. Good job, Rick the Puppy. Come on. And I don't want to hear anything about me walking in with that chain. I don't care. I tried to walk in with the, the other one. He snapped it in half. He's a, he's a GD pit bull, for Christ's sakes. Uh, so, turns out, I'm not a professor. You gotta be a professor to be a tour guide. I, you know, with $19 an hour, I thought you, you could be me and be a tour guide. You gotta have a, 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 a doctorate. But then I was thinking, Rick the Poppy, I'm talking to you. So I was thinking, um, I don't even know if this is getting this. No, I don't even know how to download this. So this isn't going anywhere. This is just good. Uh, okay. See that house with that fence? Is that, that's like the prettiest house in the neighborhood. Uh, so, uh, so I was thinking, and if you guys think I'm crazy, if you guys think, no, stupid don't do it you're you're insane tell me and i'm serious and it's okay you're probably wrong because i think what i'm saying going to say is good i think i don't think people like regular people like not <sighs> i think working class people uh would rather get a tour from a guy like me rick the puppy huh a guy that talks to his dog. Right? I think people would rather get a tour from 
this guy, right, than a Harvard professor. Because in my tour, I point out stuff that other people don't point out. And, like, for example, I'll, get, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Let's run this. Let's run Rick the puppy. I'll give you one. If I told you there was a cloned tree from outer space parked in the park, would you go, huh, I want to see that. Right? You want to see that? I want to see it. It's a cloned tree from outer space? Yes. It's in a park in Philadelphia. So, uh, so I went on 10 of these professor tours, and they don't show the clone tree from outer space. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, Rick the puppy. He's doing good for his first walk. He's not... So, I think I'm going to start my own tour company. And I don't know how, and I don't know... Maybe it's crazy. It's crazy if it's crazy, because... But don't, you know, don't tell me right now, because right now I kind of... I was doing this walk with Rick the puppy, and I was like... I was having ideas. Mrs. Captain, it's raining. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm brainstorming. Who, 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 who am I? Who am I brainstorming? Uh, and I said, nah, I got... I got idea. I got some ideas. And I'm like, alright. Like, do you need to know... <laughs> like, do you need to know the date Betsy Ross is born? Uh, I, I don't know it off the top of my head. And that's that's a problem. I got a bad memory. But, like I said, uh, Betsy Ross was born... She was the eighth kid out of 17. Uh, she was a Quaker. Like, I could tell you some stuff. I just can't give you exact. Right? And I don't think... So, I don't know how I advertise that. Like, Captain Dum Dum's Not Everything No Tour. Right, Rick the Puppy? So, I don't know. But I'll tell you what. One time I wanted to be a prison guard. And... Uh, I was like 10, so it was like 15 years ago. I was going to be a prison guard. And I got into shape, and, and, and I did a lot of stuff. To, and I got, I got the green light. I was ready to become a prison guard. And I, I failed the colorblind test. And thank God I failed that colorblind test. Because I would be so miserable being a prison guard. I wouldn't want to see that all day. What the heck was, you know what it was? I was, I was, I was, like, my kids were getting a little older, and I was like, oh, I gotta get a pension. Which, I don't, you know, I don't have one, but you gotta get a pension. You gotta, you gotta get, get a, uh, you know, you gotta get that 20-year job, so you get that, that was the plan, you know, that's what everyone does when you're from Port Richmond, you know. If you don't go to college, you get a union trade, and 20 years you retire. And I was at the age where I was, I was getting like, yo, you gotta, you gotta do something. And, uh, but while I was walking the dog, I've never felt so confident. <laughs> like, I, like, what's, what's, how do you put it? Like, I can't, I'm going to bet on myself. I'm just going to take a year. I'm going to bet on myself in a year. And within a year, let's see what happens. So, this is our first walk, April. That's another thing. Without with me not working, I don't, I don't know what day it is. So, so let's see. April, you know, I got I got that piece of junk phone. Huh. You guys never seen this, huh? huh? April 12th. All right, so you got the April 12th, 2019 to do something with your life. Uh, so, I don't know. All right, that's it. That's, a, that's my brainstorming idea. It's my nightly walk with Rick. I don't know if I'm doing this every night, but... Yeah. Alright, so that's it. That's enough of this garbage. I will talk to you later. Sorta, yeah. Not really, kinda. See ya. Sorta. Like a little. Mild. Mild YouTube celebrity. The Philly Captain. Hit like and subscribe. Don't, well, yeah, I guess you can watch it. This will be up in a second. Uh, you're over 18, right? Yeah, okay. He's over 18. Alright, that's it. Oh, people! Uh, there you go. Watch out for the pit bull. We'll kill you. All right. Toodles.